Okay, welcome to the new module, preliminaries. So wireless communication uh, requires a lot of uh, concepts to understand, mainly because nothing that you can see. Anybody can see wireless uh, uh, packets and signals so that you can grab it and open it. Oh, sometimes, sometimes you feel it? Yeah. Wow, you are so sensitive. I think it's on my mind. Wrong. You are so sensitive. Okay. I think you need to... Military, military needs <laughs> the people like you so that they can sense, oh, there is some communication. It is not like uh, Ethernet based communication, all right? Although it is very, uh, all the time available around us, just it looks so good. Tie and uh, iron the shorts. I to check. Jesse came here. Okay. Okay. So signals uh, like Ethernet network, typical internet with uh, no Wi-Fi uh, communication, then that is uh, all the signals transmitted, propagated uh, along the guided media, guided media, like a cable, right? Cable is cable guys the signals and uh, typically cable has um, uh, clothes covered tightly so signals is not really decay uh, dispersed it uh, goes uh, all the time as far as there are, uh, is enough for power given but wireless communication is, is quite different it's a non-guided media. Although it has some direction, when you radiate, when you emit uh, the signals, you can send it uh, to a specific uh, direction, but not all uh, the signals has that characteristics. One strong and powerful signals that points to a specific direction is laser. Laser can, laser signals doesn't disperse much. You see that uh, laser, uh, what do you have a laser? Laser pointer, for example. Somebody uh, make a presentation, they use a laser pointer, right? Then it it, it uh, the the lights uh, points uh, uh, the shape of a ray is very very sharp. It's not like a LED light, like your remote control LED. Uh, it is positive. It is good. Therefore, you have a LED light bulb. Okay, so waves. So we have to think of a waves first. Some character characteristics needs to be studied. Mechanical waves, electromagnetic waves, metal waves. Uh, so, uh, the, all the waves that we are going to look at for wireless communication is an electro, uh, electro, not electro, electromagnetic waves, electromagnetic waves, 
and there were, but there are some other waves also. When you drop a stone over a calm uh, pond, what happens? There's a circle dispersed, right? Co-centric circles dispersed uh, along all uh, pond. That is also wave, water wave. There are all kinds of different waves available. I now make, I now make acoustic wave, so that your ears receive my acoustic waves and because you are all smart you understand something that I am trying to explain what okay uh, I'll give that opportunity to you <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> okay, yeah, we will give you uh, extra credit. I mean, that is good for the class. Uh, that is uh, your positive contribution. Yeah, so Why not? Everybody can laugh. Yeah. yeah, not only sing and dance together. No? They don't look, they don't look too excited about it. Have you tried it in, in classroom before? No, no, no. When you were uh, elementary school? Mm. I did. Oh, wow. When I was uh, first grade. Uh, <laughs> Everybody liked. Okay. Therefore, I was uh, elected. <laughs> uh, student, student president. Student body president. So, from that one occasion. That stimulates. Been a oh yeah. So, so if you do now today, then uh, who knows? You'll be uh, the president of uh, Morse College Student Body, graduate of Student Body. Jerry, you want to try? Try. Have you done? Back in your olden days, I think he probably did. I can tell. Jesse did also. Yeah. Right? When you were young. Yeah. So waves. Waves has uh, energy. Without energy, waves doesn't make journey. Okay? So energy and momentum propagates by motion of uh, particles of a uh, medium. Some waves in the form of a particle. Some waves is a wave. Some together. Depending upon the interpretation, we can say, oh, there's a wave, or oh, there's a light, uh, there is a particle. Like a light, light, light wave, light particle, the, the light that we can see. It can be explained uh, in particles, it can be explained in waves also, but not all. Right? Some, if it is particle, then particle should move. When you throw stones to the air, then along the moment of movement of that uh, stones, there's some waves. Particle waves, particularly, is uh, like a smell. Smell, like when you have a per perfume, then we can smell your perfume. How come we smell perfume? Smell, uh, perfume has 
is, is in the form of a po uh, particle, so that particle propagates. When it reaches our nose, then we can smell it. It is, it is, it is a particle-based uh, signal. Another signal, uh, like uh, taste from food, that is also particle signal. So example of uh, mechanical waves, uh, vibration of string, surface wave of li liquid, as I explained, uh, on the pond, sound waves, tsunami waves. How tsunami, tsunami waves uh, uh, takes place? Somewhere in the ocean, there is a volcano, right? or earthquake, but more like a volcano, then big energy is, is uh, 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 out, popped out. Because of that energy, uh, water waves. Oh, now I remember something I didn't do for you yet. Remind me, Hamra. Okay. Who do I need to write okay. recommendation? Look at that. She carries a keyboard. Uh, earthquake, P wave, ultrasound. What is an ultrasound? That's an acoustic wave, right? A sound, a sound, sonic waves. Sonic waves, which means uh, uh, acoustic. Acoust part of acoustic. But sonic is, is something that we can hear. The frequency range is between 20 hertz to uh, 20 kil uh, kilohertz, right? That is a, a sonic, sonic waves that we can hear, human. Oh, by the way, I have a uh, I have sonic waves so that I can let you uh, Okay. Right now, this is a thousand hertz. Let's see. I need to. I need to increase the volume. Maximize. And come back here. Start. What is uh, the hertz? left so I'm going to make it lower and I'm going to increase can you hear oh some distance right it, this is low energy but still about this 20 Hertz you can hear 17 hertz, I cannot come closer because he is sensitive. You are the witness. Can you hear some? It is being generated. I'm going to increase the hertz frequency volume. I'm going to increase the volume. Okay. And it's a little hurts from low to high. Right. 
So, so what is what is your uh, capabilities? Yeah. What is a lower low bound? What is uh, upper bound? Right. Yeah. So if your uh, frequency range is, is very narrow, then uh, your specialty should be limited uh, for some uh, circumstances and, and, and applications. So, so I'm going to increase. You don't hear? I think it's in, in your mind, doctor. <laughs> it's hard to hear over that. This yeah, I think, you might, I think you might be hearing the the fans over. Look here. No, not look. Here. <laughs> you don't? Oh, you are less sensitive than me. How about this? I'm going to make it ten times. One tenth. So if I Right now, this is only right. Only only ten 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 k hertz, but human can hear twenty k. I cannot hear. So mine, as you get old, you you don't listen uh, the high frequency. Can you hear that? No, I cannot. Do you hear? I'm okay. <laughs> oh, is that right? What about this? Do you hear? Do you hear? Anybody hear this? Oh, ladies are sensitive. <laughs> I became deaf already. I don't, I don't, oh, here, up to this point, I, I can hear. I'm deaf. What was the show I was talking about last, last semester? Here. That's the show I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, my uh, upper bound is uh, 13 okay. kilohertz. Let's try Hamra's case. Can you hear? Mm -hmm. Wow. See here? Sustainable? Still here? Wow. Still here? What about Elisa? Do you hear? Oh, this is a sexual discrimination. Do you still hear? I'm okay. Yeah, me neither. I can't hear now. What is, what is the thing? What is the thing? Uh, in some circumstances, if you have a pet or doggies at home, uh, we human, human, we relax on a couch and all of a sudden your doggies are barking, right? Because yeah. the bark, your doggies uh, recognize the some sound. Yeah. So each one has different uh, capabilities. Here, <laughs> this sound, this sound, and when I increase this up to here, Hamra, uh, which one's better sound this to you? This is louder. This is louder. This has more energy. So low frequency has a low. Yeah. 
But anyway, pulse. Nothing to me. Jerry, do you hear? Oh, you hear? Yeah. Why? Why? What, what do you chant? Uh, face. So somehow a mixture. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, you hear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, you're the witness that uh, for the fact that I am deaf, <laughs> I'm now disabled person. <laughs> so. Uh, keep in mind, if you uh, yell at me, I don't recognize you, okay? So what you need to do is that you need to stand in front of my sight, then I can recognize you. Okay, let me close this, because this bothers somebody, not me. So let's take a look at uh, some of the characteristics here. Mechanical waves. Uh, waves, we're talking about waves, so that uh, so we, we can draw the waves something like this, okay? So we have a positive uh, amplitude and negative amplitude, okay? Uh, and the wavelength varies, sometimes very long, sometimes very, very narrow, and crest very high or low, uh, and that sometimes you have more cycles than others. So number of cycles uh, per second is a hertz, so-called hertz. Uh, two kinds of uh, waves can be considered. Transverse waves is just like this. Waves flows like this. Longitudinal waves. It's like a particle movement. Okay. Electronic, electro, electro, why? Uh, electromagnetic waves. Um, the medium is not really uh, needed. Medium is like a carrier. Electric power or magnetic field itself uh, can propagate. But if you want to keep the strength of electric power, then, then you need to have a carrier like uh, the cables connected to your home. So efficiently uh, the, sen the strength of a sender side uh, electric power can uh, propagate all the way to your home. But it sometimes it decays a lot, therefore a uh, repeater or yeah, some other uh, the equipment needs to be installed in between. So electromagnetic waves uh, uh, has this, this, this kinds of uh, uh, samples available, radio waves. Typically, uh, there's a certain uh, frequency range so that we have AM uh, radio frequency. FM radio frequencies, and along that radio frequencies, our cell phone signals there, 
for uh, olden days at your home, you have cordless phones, right? You have a base phone and a, and a cordless phone are connected. The pow powerful cordless phones uses 900 megahertz uh, phones. So about 20 years ago, uh, when it was uh, first announced, it was really expensive. One phone set, like four receiver and one base, for about $200 at the time, right? It was really so nice. So you, you install the uh, base phone uh, in one place, and then wife has uh, one receiver, daughter has one another receiver, because of course uh, needs phones a lot. So all uh, uses radio waves. Uh, ham uh, users, do you also use ham uh, when you are in yeah. deep ocean? Yeah. 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 Uh, there is also uh, uh, radio waves. <coughs> Light waves. Light waves, therefore, we can see where there is a light light waves. We can see. We can identify the colors. Okay. Radio waves covers sometimes uh, somewhere in in the light waves also. Or strictly speaking. Uh, radio waves is a little below than infrared waves. Light waves is a wide range uh, of frequencies, so red color is a low frequency, and purple is, is high, highest frequency in the light wave. So anything, uh, any signals below red color, below red color, therefore you cannot see it. It is invisible signals, but it is also a very powerful uh, high frequency signals, so it can be used for many cases, for example, infrared signals. The iPhone 10 recently uh, announced has infrared cameras, infrared cameras. If you have infrared cameras, then that camera takes photo that we human cannot see, which means in the dark night, if you have an infrared camera, then the camera takes photo. Or if you have an infrared lens, through the lens, you can see the dark world. That is many cases of uh, the military guys wear, right? They have goggles, infrared goggles, when they fight uh, at night. Have you fight at night? Um, what was your specialty? Come on. What? Communication. Oh, communication. So you don't communication. Oh, so communications all goes together with the uh, no, really. infantry all the time. Very rare. Very rarely. Yeah, that's why I picked that job. But we never did. You are lucky. Javier, what was your specialty? Intelligence. I've been waves like this. Uh, Intelligent teams uh, not necessarily physically uh, uh, go uh, the front line oh, no, of the I'm battle, right? Building with no windows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm good in there. <laughs> Let them blow it up. And uh, long time ago, when I had uh, military training, 
some guys, I was shooting in, in the in shooting range, dark at night. It's about uh, 200 millimeter away, uh, 200 meter away, not millimeter, 200 meter away, which means uh, 0.2 miles, right? Away, there's an object, targets. The dark at night, they turn on the lights and off. And then we have to shoot to the targets. So we have to memorize. Oh, well, there is it. And then they check who fails and who succeeds. Some of the real good guys, like snipers, target is moving. They turn on the lights and off. So they need to measure the speed of their targets. And then they, have, they need to calculate and shoot. Are we talking plays? Like the orange plays? plays? Yeah, yeah. I, I know that. Is that what we're talking about now? No, no. no okay, it's so a military. It's, military. Oh, okay, okay. it's not like a dish. No, no, no. Uh, that's, that is a simple, you know why? That uh, bullets dispersed. Yeah, yeah. So that it hits, uh, the, uh, the hit rate is very high. Yeah. For military bullets, is so one bullet. It spins to the targets. When it hits the targets, because it spins, you know that, right? When it hits here, then uh, hidden points is very small. If it penetrates, back, side, it's a big hole. We're talking about shotgun? Real shotgun, yeah, military yeah. shotgun. Yeah. Why? Because the bullets uh, spins, high speed spins. So inside our body, it spins. We're talking about a rifle, yeah. Yeah, he's talking about a rifle. There's also waves. Okay, so light waves. Uh, smartphone, uh, iPhone 10 has infrared cameras and there's two things that I like from iPhone 10. Those two things are What was that? Uh, I forgot again. It's not photo ID. Uh, what ID? ID. Face ID? Right, face ID. So face ID recognize our face so that without uh, having to uh, pressing, press uh, the home button, it turn on, right? How can this be possible? It doesn't do uh, image processing. It's an infrared cameras. So infrared cameras can see something that our human eyes cannot. So the principle is this. The infrared camera takes at least 300 dots from our face and saves. Of course, trained face is needed. So after the training, it recognizes at least 300 dots from your face. And therefore, it, is, it identifies you. It doesn't recognize your face. It, if it is, then that, that is image processing. The way they did, they are so smart, they used the infrared camera. Okay? Not only that, because infrared camera is installed, any emoji? Any emoji, right? Have you heard that? Any emoji. Animation and icons together, available, uh, on uh, uh, iPhone 10, so there is a small icon like animation. Animation. So when you move your uh, muscle, your your face muscle, then it follows you. If you laugh, then it laughs. The same way. If you cry, then it cry. If you turn your face, you turn your face also. That is animosity. How come it's possible again? Because it is 
there is an infrared camera. Infrared is a frequency a little below than red. All the way down to red color, that is a visible light waves. Waves a little below the frequency of a red color is called the infrared. And then there is another uh, high frequency. Highest frequency of a light wave is the color of a purple. So above purple color is called the ultraviolet, right? That is another frequency range. Infrared waves uh, actively used in many applications, particularly sensor network. Some sensors, it, it send out infrared and it receives uh, the reflexive signals. Therefore, they can check motion detect, for example. Motion detect sensor can detect with uh, no light. How come it is possible? because it uses infrared, right? So at home you have a motion detector, for example, then uh, you don't need to turn on the lights, right? Doesn't matter to the infrared, uh, infrared-based sensors. Okay, another is a thermal radiation. When you heat, heat up your body, everybody has some kind of thermal or temperatures, right? If you do not, if you are so cold, which means you're not anymore human, right? Sometimes you may be a snake. Snake's uh, thermal temperature is a lot lower than human. You know that, right? So therefore, somebody's uh, uh, pairs uh, snakes as uh, uh, the pet, uh, particularly in hot summer. So they put the snakes on the neck, like uh, uh, in winter you wear scarves, something like that. You can have snakes around your neck, and it, it, it's cold. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. You don't like snakes? No, I don't like snakes. I actually like reptiles, but I don't like snakes at all. Oh, like certain reptiles I like, but snakes are something I cannot. Me neither. I'm scared of snakes. Therefore, I always kill snakes. You kill them? But I fail. Because they are fast. Many years ago, when I uh, walk uh, 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 Bear Mountains, I think I explained it in some classes. It's like. Uh, In Bear Mountain, there is that kind of snow, uh, uh, snakes. The snakes, shape of snakes is like uh, in desert area, uh, uh, the head of snakes uh, becomes yeah. wider. What is the name of it? Like gardener snakes that you're talking about? Or co you're talking about cobra. Cobra, yeah. But the gardener snakes Garden ones, yeah. Exactly. I almost stepped in one of Bear Mountain right. myself, actually. Oh, have you seen that? I was on the path at like where all the right. animals are. I was on the path, and I literally almost there's, stepped But there is, there is a poison. Uh, uh, snakes, and also it is. I encountered sorry throw stones, and it attack against me. Snakes like this, and then raise up head and turn to me, and stared at me. So I threw for reason about that about uh, three feet away. And uh, I have uh, a cane, like a stick. Just in case, if it uh, flies, then I need to <laughs> hit him. Uh, it is really scary. So after that, how come that type of snakes uh, here, we are not uh, in desert area, so cobra. So I looked at cobra, 
uh, bear mountains, and there's the cards and snakes. It has some names. It's not really many here, not like the rattlesnakes. Yeah. Bear mountains are a lot of rattlesnake, rattle, rattlesnakes, right? Yeah, they actually have... There's so many rattlesnakes. Yeah, they if you go bear mountains uh, in next to uh, a month or, or so, a lot of snakes. Because before they uh, hibernate, they, yeah, they, they try to eat more. Mm -hmm. So they are waiting for you to <laughs> eat. So rattlesnakes is, is really big. Like maybe three, three feet or four feet long. They're always like this circles and, and raise their head and then their tails. Two sides. Two sides. Yeah. But funny thing is this. Uh, we went there at, uh, with, as a group. One of uh, the, the group member uh, cut the red fish and put it in uh, some uh, bag. Okay? Live, put in your backpack. And we encountered. So, uh, our group, uh, so first, front group and, and back end the group. I was in the front, uh, front group. And we encountered rattlefish. Rattle, uh, not rattle, rattlesnake. Rattlesnake does not move. So we cannot move. We wait until the snakes disappears. It doesn't disappear. But when that guy approached, immediately disappeared. My uh, analysis was that the snakes, captive snakes, send out some signals, some sound which we do not hear, but the other snakes can hear. That may be the reason. That is here. In this, uh, it is not uh, electromagnetic, but uh, it's kind of a way. Now I see how it's relevant, because I've actually once heard something about how that's how they, they prey. Like, you know, they, they actually catch field mice, you know, so that's, that's how they, they catch them, I think, is is through sounds and something like I've heard something specific like that but I actually go climbing like through the area like there's this one area that's not too far from Bear Mountain but it's mm -hmm. and they actually have a lot of these black snakes that you're talking about like if you look right. up the, the you know the indigenous snakes from New York like, there's only a couple of different types but there are like I think there are rattlesnakes though there mm -hmm. really are like they're I've never encountered one but these black snakes they're really like weird because You'll see them on, they're, they're usually on the south side of the mountain because it's like the, the way the sun is and how it faces, you know, like, you know, sometimes they, you know, you catch them going up and it's just so weird. Like, Another interesting sound that they can make or hear uh, by uh, animals or bird is uh, 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 woodpecker, woodpecker, right? Uh, there are a lot of woodpeckers in Bear Mountains, and also uh, Pound Ridge uh, Park. Anybody knows that area? Pound Ridge. Is it Pound Ridge? Somewhere. That's in, in Westchester. Westchester. Uh, we walked uh, sometimes that area, and one huge area, and big trees. Woodpeckers destroys all the trees. So my question is, how come woodpecker pack the wood? I know why a woodpecker pack the wood. Because inside the wood there is uh, some worms, right? Worms uh, uh, crawling and eating some of, uh, some of the wood uh, uh, stuffs. So Woodpecker identifies. How, how come woodpecker identifies the worms of uh, biting uh, something inside the wood? It is, it is very possible to them, although it is 
almost impossible for us to identify, for us to hear, right? There may be some sound, of course, from the cracking by the worm, but that frequency is, is beyond the frequency that human can hear. The frequency range picked up by woodpecker, so woodpecker from long distance flies to that uh, wood and then peck from there. When I say this, somebody said, oh, woodpecker uh, pecking my house. Well, that is possible too, right? House, so there are some worms cracking the wood. So thermal uh, radiation. Some cameras also catch thermal temperatures. I have that uh, camera uh, in my sensor uh, network class. I uh, demonstrate that. And the uh, program is, is not uh, easy, right? So when you turn on all of you, then it, it camera, so, so it, it draws your shape. But uh, your body uh, has different uh, temperature. For example, your cheeks uh, high temperature than uh, your forehead, for example. Or, or, or if you have some pain uh, in your neck, then uh, higher temperature uh, comes out. The temperature uh, radiated. So red, the thermal radiation can be captured by the camera and displays. X-ray, uh, laser. See laser. This is this is very very. Uh, oops. So laser is laser is, is not really uh, one specific uh, frequencies. Laser is is not uh, the wave uh, that ha has been uh, existing by itself. Laser is human in the in, uh, invention invented by human scientists there is a laser waves laser signals laser stands for light amplification by se stimulated emitted radiation that is a laser. Stimulated, stimulated emission of radiation. You know that stimulated emission, emission of radiation. And in front, LA means light amplification. So it is really amplitude and become power, powerful. Therefore, uh, laser signals can reach far away when uh, your uh, space shuttle communicate communicating with uh, uh, NASA uh, on Earth then they use laser signals laser signals is strong and it is uh, target pointed it's a narrow Signal. It's not signal. It's not dispersed. So laser is, is good ones. Uh, this slide uh, displays the spectrum of uh, frequencies and yeah, spectrum of frequency. So see here we have a frequency in hertz. Frequency of ten to the power five. Frequency of uh, ten to the power twenty one. Wow, very high frequency. Here, low frequency. 10 to the power of 5 means uh, only uh, like 10 uh, kilohertz, right? If it's 10 kilohertz, then those are the, the things that we can hear. See here? 20 hertz to 10 kilohertz. But actually, 20 kilohertz. See that we, uh, in the, the, our demo, our frequency generator, some hemra was able to hear uh, almost the 16 kilohertz. I can hear only up to 14 kilohertz. 
but I can hear a uh, lower uh, kilohertz. I can hear uh, 17 hertz. Not all of you. I can hear lower frequency. Uh, so radio spectrum, radio frequencies, any bandwidth from here to here, 10 to the power 11. 10 to the power 10, uh, 10 to the power 9, this is a gigahertz. So 2.4 gigahertz is a frequency that our microwave, uh, your smartphone, so those are all in that range. A little more than that, right? That is the 10 to the power 11. They're all, see here microwave, they're all uh, radio frequencies. Above this somewhere, there is, uh, here, there's a visible light. Can you see here? This is a visible light, which is this narrow. There's a visible light. Lights below that uh, red is called infrared. Uh, some of the remote uh, controller uses that infrared uh, signal. So some of uh, uh, remote con uses uh, LED, which is about uh, 400 megahertz. So somewhere here, like a TV sets. Okay, some controllers use these frequencies. Ultrasound. This is a little above the sound. Acoustic sound it is ultrasound. This. So medical examples uses a lot of ultrasound signals. Ultrasound can penetrate our skin very easily, but uh, it it trans it uh, it penetrates the liquid very well, but uh, proteins then it, uh, it uh, reflects so that when uh, you have a baby, not, not guys but uh, ladies, then uh, ultrasound can identify the babies in womb, right? So uh, the babies is like a protein. Babies have protein. Right? Is there any babies with no protein? Impossible. Okay. So I wanted to understand the uh, whole spectrum. Uh, the waves or signals above the light, light signals is ultraviolet, which is uh, uh, the frequency higher than purple color. Okay, so 10 to the power 15, 1 petahertz, petahertz above that. And then there's some range, which is X-ray. Okay, that's high frequency, which can penetrate all of our body protein, but it reflects some from bone, right? So that X-ray can check your bone structure of your body. So all the time, they, uh, you can take some X-ray uh, picture if you broke, if you break your bone. Um, and gamma ray, high frequencies. Along this uh, frequency range, laser, laser can be anywhere depending upon it is invented. Okay. If you want to get the reflexive signals uh, from bone, then you can make uh, something in the range of X-ray. Okay. If you want to reflect 
from protein than in the range of ultrasound laser. So laser can cut, depending upon the, upon the frequencies, can cut uh, our skin, our uh, organ systems very well, right? If you have cancer, then cut out the cancer cells. Cancer cell, it doesn't mean, cancer cell is like a lump, it's like a meat, right? Two pounds meat for all cancers. How can you cut the cancer? Not by knife, but laser can cut. Depending upon the frequency and amplitude, energy, laser can cut metal. Okay? Very accurately. So laser can encave letters on the surface of very hard metal. That is also possible. Corresponding, corresponding to frequency, uh, you have also wavelength. They are all related, right? Wavelength and frequency. According to uh, some formula. Wavelength, if you have, for example, ultrasound waves, the wavelength is like a football field wavelength. It's, what is wavelength? This is wavelength. From one peak to another peak. There is wavelength. So very, very long wavelength that is uh, AM radios and uh, ultrasound. So it penetrates very well. Uh, infrared, for example. The wavelength of infrared here, therefore, that is just a cell small cell, that is a wavelength. It's almost uh, uh, impossible to identify. Very, very. Little lower than that, that is a paper thickness. Paper thickness. Still very, very short wavelength. Cell wavelength, even shorter, that is infrared wavelength. And X-ray, it's like atom size, atom size. Okay, so that is a basic. Albert Einstein wrote uh, that statements, and that's that, that written documents is available in University of Toronto right now. Uh, he said, it seems as though we must use sometimes the one theory and sometimes the other, while at times we may use either. We are faced with a new kinds of difficulty. We have two contradictory pictures of reality. Separately, neither of them fully explains the phenomena of light, but together they do, which means waves or particles. By using wave theory, we cannot uh, explain completely about uh, light. By using particles, we cannot also complete. But if we use it together, then we can explain the light signals completely. That's what uh, Albert says. Okay. So the difference between uh, particles and, and and waves can be explained in this way. In this figure one, um, if you have small holes, if, if it waves, then passes through that small walls, small holes 
and then the waves uh, uh, dispersed. If it's particles, then only the part particles pass through the holes can uh, propagate further. There is no uh, disperse. Similarly, if there is another uh, object pass through, then particles pass through like this. But here, waves, it change the, sh uh, the phase. Similarly, uh, reflection, it reflected the particles, like uh, uh, soft balls, or bounce over, highly bounce over balls. If you uh, hit to the ground, then it uh, bounced uh, back, right? That is particle. But if you have waves, then uh, the face can be uh, shifted. Similarly, if you have some barrier, then only the particles can propagate if there is no barrier. But if uh, waves uh, after pass through that, if there is a barrier, then because of this barrier, although they pass through, uh, some disperse can occur. Waves form. There may be sine waves, square wave waves, triangle waves, sawtooth waves. It's not Bluetooth. Sawtooth. Uh, like this. This is a sine waves. Right, this is square waves, or sometimes step functions, or sometimes this is digital waves, right? So ones and zeros, one and zero. This is digital waves, or square waves. Triangle, like this. Amplitude. Amplitude is a constant, like this, it's constant. This is amplitude, from here there. If we have uh, one one waves, right? It's constant. See here, there is amplitude. All the same way here. However, if you modulate. Along the modulation, waves can be uh, varying. Modulate with uh, multiple different, different data or signals, therefore you have a multiple different uh, amplitude. By having that different, dif uh, different level of amplitude, amplitude you can uh, restore the original signals when it reaches at the destination. Modulation is this, is it mixed together. Why modulation is important? We have data to send, but there is no guided media. Or only there may be some signals, X-ray, laser, Infrared, radio frequencies, those are the signals that can be generated, right? So when it, that's, those signals are generated, your data is mixed together. That is called the modulate. One signal and one data, or one signal and multiple data together can be modulated more efficiently. But it can be restored accurately. We'll take, we will practice that in, uh, in later, later time. Waves has a velocity. So waves has a special form. Waves has amplitude. Waves has velocity.
you can make, for example, this kind of signals in using Python language. Who will do that later? This kind of signals can be identified very, very well, right? Along the timeline, at this time you have this uh, kind of amplitude, at another time uh, another amplitude, so that you can well understood. But when you do modulation, as I said, the modulation of uh, multiple signals, therefore you, the outcome of modulation is one signal. How can you know the number of signals? How many, how many signals are, are, are modulated together when you take a look at one signal only? That's a special tool. And in our Python, we can also display that very quickly. Wait. Okay. Sinusoidal waves, like sine curve, sine waves. See here, this is a sine. Like this, this is a sine waves, right? We have a wavelength, lambda, wavelength. A frequency, uh, frequency is one of uh, the period, one over period. Period is in time, right? How long does it take from one peak to another peak? If you have a very short period, then with the, and within the same time frame, you have a multiple vibrations. If you have a long wavelength, then maybe one vibration. If you have a shorter length, shorter wavelength and multiple uh, vibration. If there is a multiple vibration, then there is a higher frequencies. That is a that's formula of this. This is very basic. And the wavelength, this, can be in the form of velocity over frequencies, which is the same as velocity over P or the T. Because F is 1 over T. So if we divide by T, uh, upper side and lower side, then that is uh, this. Electromagnetic signals is a function of time, like a uh, sine curve, function of time. Time here, function of time. Sine of function, T. Can also be expressed as a function of frequency. So time and frequency are, are correlated. Waves can be expressed in time, waves can be expressed in frequency, because that is waves. With a limited time, higher frequency, or if we have the same uh, wavelength, then it takes a longer time. Okay, so Mathematically, they, they can be all uh, nicely represented. Propagation. In a vacuum, circumstances, signal strength follows inverse square law. Uh, there's some law available, but we don't need to do that here. 
But thing is this. Uh, this is a radio tower, like cell tower. Uh, if your distance d, then strength is p1. If you have a double distance, double, it reduces the square of that double. So two, double is two. The square of the, that is two to the power two, which is four. Okay, square. Square law. Inverse. So we divide that. So 200, this is the strength of, uh, of the signals received at distance d. But if we go further, so double distance, then the, the power of signal receives at the double distance will reduce the, the square, square of that. So if you go triple, then what happens? 3 to the power 2, which is 1 over 9. Okay, this will reduce the 1 over 9. Say this is 1 feet. This is a cell tower. Uh, I think this is uh, what uh, the, all the, the phone uh, wireless phone carrier uh, are concerned, like Verizon, AT and T, not Apple. Okay. Apple is manufacturer, but uh, phone signal carrier. They need to consider this. This is a cell tower, and then cell tower covers distance D. So, so we can measure up to this point, we can have this strength of cell signals, okay? Somebody lives double distance here, then cell signals is not really half strength, but it's a double squared. So one fourth, one quarter of the signals that this guy had. Okay, what is it? Uh, exponentially decayed. The strength of the signals decayed exponentially. Particular exponent is square. Okay. That makes sense, right? Recently, I changed the, uh, the phone carrier company from AT&T to T-Mobile because T-Mobile uh, offers very, very low rates. I changed it. <coughs> At our home, we don't receive cell signals <laughs> from our phone. <laughs> When you walk one block, then we receive uh, two, two bars. When we uh, go uh, another block, we receive the four bars. So it clearly tells us that that's theory. T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Oh. Two bars and four bars. How is ATT? Oh, we have all the time four bars yeah, at our home. Yeah, right. oh. <laughs> So what happens is that I called uh, T-Mobile and explained that, that situation. They said, okay, don't worry, we'll send you a booster. It uh, hasn't arrived yet, but I'll tell you next time when I install it. Uh, I don't know how effective that booster works. So booster, see it decays uh, uh, the strength, right, square according to the length, booster, what booster can do is it remains somewhere the same. That is a booster. So we may have the similar signals as it is uh, originally designed. 
they put them in like remote locations, right? Like some areas. That they are, said that they looked at uh, when I called. They looked at uh, all uh, the areas where we live, and they said, "Oh, uh, our uh, cell tower covers uh, your area com completely well." And I explained that uh, our home is a little uh, upper the hills, uh, uh, and explain everything. Only the, uh, the block where we live uh, does not have signals. When I walk one block away, then I receive two bars. Another block, I receive four bars. I explain that without uh, using that uh, inverse square law. But <laughs> she understood very well. And this usually they charge. If I, although I received uh, the uh, signals, but if I want to uh, raise the bar, then I need to pay. But ours is completely blind area, so that she said, okay, there's a free, use it. Okay. Isn't that about net neutrality? How they, how they charge people more? Better service. Usually they do, right? Yeah. But not not our case, because we don't receive any signals. And she explained that. Oh, have you turned off your uh, Wi-Fi? Oh, yeah, we did. If we turned off our Wi-Fi, then we have one bar. So what happened is, is the funny things. The last few days, when I tried to change my uh, Gmail uh, account, okay, not account. Uh, I tried to access Gmail accounts from new device. Then, then what they do is that because I set to to uh, verification code to receive my cell phone, right? So I did that, and it says, "Okay, we sent a uh, verification code. Enter ver verification code." But I cannot receive a ver verification code is delivered. Th through messaging. Messaging is through cell signal, not Wi-Fi signals. If I turn on wi wi turn off Wi-Fi, then I lose that windows. If I leave turn, uh, if I still have Wi-Fi, then I cannot receive cell signals. So I went out one block and got verification code. When I get back home, time is tight. <laughs> That funny scenario happened yeah. to me. Okay, another characteristics of uh, why, uh, electromagnetic waves is reflection. Wave can reflect to from some surface, depending upon the surface hardness, and depending upon the frequency, it reflects. Some frequency does not uh, reflect. Low frequency is smoothly because it is a wide wavelength. Like the AM radio signals, it covers a wide areas. Why? Because wavelength is the size of a football field. So it reaches further. FM, higher than AM radio frequency, right? FM is Give me FM uh, radio uh, uh, of your favorites. Like a station? Yeah, station. Oh, Frequency. 97.1 oh, megahertz, right? This megahertz. 9 megahertz. What about AM? It's a kilohertz. Whatever AM, there's a kilohertz. Okay. Different. Uh, uh, magnitude. So low frequency AM, high frequency FM. Low frequency AM because it is low frequency, therefore it has a wider wavelength. It can reach further. If you have a very high vibra uh, vibration, it can be reflected quicker so that if some areas, if you have a FM radio, FM radio, you cannot hear much, right? If you drive uh, away from uh, Manhattan uh, Empire State Building, all the radio stations, uh, the signals radiated from Empire State Building. 
before 9-11 only one place but after 9-11 there's another backup in Times Square okay so two, two, two places all the signals uh, is, is radiated from let's say uh, uh, Empire State Building so on top of the big high antenna right from there oh. if uh, a FM radio uh, signals are radiated from there and if you drive uh, away from that uh, Empire State Building then uh, you may lose uh, FM radio quicker but still you receive AM radio signals right or no? That is, that is it, okay? Try. You cross the river, right? Yeah. So do you receive well uh, FM radio? Yeah, I think so. That's some. And also it depends on the amplitude, and energy. Not amplitude, the energy. Some radio stations send out high power, so it can reach further. And also some radio stations is directional. Okay, we will cover uh, New Jersey area. We will cover Long Island area, uh, Long Island direction, or uh, Westchester. Or some radio stations, uh, uh, 360. So it's, it's not really uh, a direction, uh, direction. Some popular AM radios covers that way. Okay. Uh, reflection. See here, if you we can we can also say this is a, a cell tower. Cell tower uh, send out uh, cell signals. So you you have uh, your uh, uh, smartphone device. Okay, so that smartphone device received directly. If there is uh, some sensitive uh, surface, therefore, the same cell signals reflected and received by your the same smartphone. The same as same smartphone has uh, uh, intelligently uh, uh, rejected the others, but in general, look at that uh, scene only, then there may be some echo. Okay, some signals directly to your your uh, uh, ears. Some signals after reflected, then you have an echo. Right? Sometimes you have an echo. If you have a big, uh, deep uh, belly, uh, and then if you shout, then there's a, all kinds of reflect reflector. So that this side of mountain, the other side of the mountain, when you shout then reflected it and this uh, travels to another uh, uh, mountain, reflected it back and, back and forth, so that you have a lot of echoes. You have that experience, right? No? Yes? Maybe? Okay. Reflection. Uh, diffraction, dispersed. Let's go. Scattered. Uh, all characteristics. Absorption. Some points absorbed, right? If you have, if you are, if you have good acoustic uh, uh, systems to play music at home in one room, then all the walls should have a very uh, should have the materials uh, that can absorb uh, 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 the signals therefore when you hear the music the mu music signals you want to you want to hear the music signals so it comes directly from from the device to your ears not not through the reflected. If you have a lot of reflection, then for the same music, you have uh, a lot of a delayed 
uh, signals comes into your eyes, then uh, it's not really echo, but it's not so clear music. Therefore, you may have that uh, object, observable uh, materials on the walls, objective values. Uh, see here, concrete block, depending on the material, or sheet rock. So some loss can be uh, listed here in decibel. Decibel is 10 times lower base 10 uh, P2 over P1. So there's some ratio, right? This is ratio. The ratio is 13, it doesn't lose 13 times. It's a lot because we have a logarithmic uh, value here. If you have a higher value, then lose much. If you have a low value, then don't lose much. If you have plywood and there is a frequency 9.6 gigahertz, 9.6 gigahertz uh, hits your plywood, then uh, don't lose much. That, that, that type of things. Uh, multipath. As we said uh, in the previous slide, some signals directly to your ears, some uh, signals uh, after reflected. Then we have a multiple path of signals, right? How can you filter that out so that you want to hear selectively one signal only at a time, which is clear signals. Multi-path problems also available. Okay, time domain concept. Uh, wavelength is uh, uh, propagated over the time, over the course of time, right? So, based on T, time T, like this. Some kinds of, you can uh, classify the time domain signals. So all signals can be represented over time domain, over frequency domain. It's not really exclusively defined. For the same signals, same signal can be represented over time, then there is a time domain signal representation. The same signal can be represented also over frequency. Then we call that frequency domain uh, representation. In general, signals can be either analog or digital, right? You all know that. what is analog or what is digital. Analog is, is a different amplitude. Digital, single or discrete amplitude. One zero, one zero, one zero, for example. Some signals are periodic, some signals aperiodic. Sine curve is a periodic, right? Our voice signals, vocal signals, it's not really purely because I, or of course, if I say uh, uh, one uh, word repeatedly, then that is purely word, 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 word. Then that is purely right. But we don't do that. So vocal, vocal signals are not. Periodic, periodic, so we call that a period. But when you send out data, for example, 
cell signal, cell data from your smartphone, data needs to be sent out, the smartphone generate like sinusoidal signals, periodic signals. If it is periodic signals, then at the receiver side, you can remove that periodic signals very easily, right? And whatever left over, that is the data, so that you can use it. So modulation and demodulation. Modulation is a process of mixing signals and data together. Demodulation is a restore, so to compose from there. So, basically, foundations of uh, wireless communications, then you have to understand the digital signal processing, antenna uh, characteristics, uh, and some others. But, but we don't do that, right? We, we, our concern is more uh, not uh, engineering, engineering side, but... Uh, science side. Okay, so basically difference between analog and digital this is analog, right? So we know, we know that this is digital. So amplitude is fixed, constant, right? In this case, vary somewhere here or there. Peak amplitude and frequencies, the maximum amplitude, amplitude A and frequency F, F, what is the frequency? Frequency is, is the rate, is the number of uh, cycles per second, cycles per second. The unit represent frequency is Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z, Hertz. Signal concept. Again, we, we know that this is wavelength. If you have a sine waves from peak to another peak, that is a wavelength. Period is a, a amount of time it takes for one repetition of the signals. So, for the length of uh, uh, wave, yeah, wavelength. The distance of a wavelength, what is the time to to traverse? That is period. So period, if you have longer period, longer time to traverse, then you have low uh, frequency. Because it takes long, you have very rare number of cycles. If this is short, short to uh, reach, then you have so many uh, uh, cycles. If, ever, if it takes long, then very low frequencies like this. So they are correlated. So the thing is this, F is one over T, one over T, or T is one over F. They're the same, right? So F equals one over T also. Wavelength times frequency, wavelength is this. Wavelength times how many cycles? Then there's all range. It's called uh, velocity per second. So per second, how long does it traverse? That is a velocity, right? 
So light speed is 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Per second, it travels that long. 3, although almost a million meter, 1 million, 0.3 million, or oh, not million, billion, 0.3 billion meter, which means 0.3 million kilometer. 0.3 million kilometer. What does that mean? In uh, miles, uh, that is almost 2 million miles. Per second, so one second, 2 million miles traversed. 2 million miles. You guys <laughs> You need to take a break? No, we'll, we'll stop all this. As I said, uh, for a few weeks of the semester, we, there's no break. But if you feel drowsy, you can uh, stand up and... Jerry, you want to uh, sing? So that uh, you look uh, tired. Can you sing a Chinese song? <laughs> what about Hamra? Nigeria song. I like Nigeria song. Oh, that that sounds like a song. <laughs> when you speak something, it sounds like a song, right? Any question? Any comments? So boring. I know, it is a boring, right? Oh, you want to do some uh, hands-on? No? I have a Python program that uh, generates uh, that kind of uh, uh, signals. You want to do that? Let's see what frequency... They're all similar, all the same, right? Wavelength parameters. Okay, here. All right, yeah, this is this is wavelength uh, sine signals. See, this is uh, uh, this much amplitude. You can lower the amplitude, right, like this, or you can have more frequencies. Compare this and that. This is a little more frequencies, right? And the this one. See here, this is uh, amplitude, half amplitude. This is a uh, double frequency than this, double. So from peak to peak, this is a wavelength. So from peak to peak here, there's a wavelength. This is shorter, therefore double frequencies. Oh, this is a shift, phase shift. This is, this is original, but shift a little bit. Can you do this? Can you emulate this uh, in Python? Oh yeah, you can. Are you interested in or no interest? Oh yeah, we, we really did. Uh, this is this is a uh, sine waves in time domain. Everything here is uh, in time domain. That time domain can be converted to frequency domain. This is frequency domain. They can be converted back and forth. There is a the theory called FFT or DFT. Okay, discrete uh, frequency. Uh, transpo uh, transform or FFT fast uh, of frequency transform something like that those are all uh, the techniques are learned in uh, electrical engineering but you don't need to do but we can because already 
developed in Python, why not using it? So I'm going to give it to you here. Let's hold this a little bit aside. Okay, like this. And then um, and then we can take a look. What I'm going to do is Okay, here. Uh, Python. I'm going just to. And spectrum. Okay, let's do this first. Let me bring up uh, Python. I think some missing. Uh, okay, here. All right. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to Okay. 
I got it. Close that. Okay, here. Okay, I'm going to make sinusoidal waves like this. Okay, how can I make this? It is done by this coding. Very simple coding, right? So what happens here is that if I, this is a sine curve. If I remove this amplitude, sine equals to two pi t, two pi t, t for the range of that. So t pi t, and then no shift. Save this. Close that. And if I run this, then this is a typical sine curve, right? One cycle. So one frequency. From here there, that is a wavelength. And amplitude is a one because we, we have nothing here, one. If you have a higher frequency, then you, we need to have here FF times. FF means I'm going to make a frequency, two frequencies, so that uh, that can be draws two times. Watch this. Two times, right? One and two. This is two two hertz. If we want to make this, for example, five, then five frequencies and five hertz. See here, five hertz. Okay. And with this, I want to combine this with uh, something else. Say, this is why not only this, I want to combine, add something else. But here the frequency is uh, it's a little more frequency. So, times uh, 1.5 and then there's a little bit of uh, shift to so that uh, 2 times pi so this is one signal and this is another signal let's make it this way this is another signal so I'm going to make this y and I'm going to make this Y1. So Y is generated because here, plot Y. So Y is in this shape. I'm going to make a little. So uh, more, more uh, hertz, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven point five, which for example, because I, I made that. And a little bit of uh, uh, I don't want to make that what point five high. Uh, and then I'm going to put here one point five times. And what happens? Uh, this is 
no not this too much so point point five it's a little lower of frequency so that you can see this okay how can I save this to save this um, desktop desktop here I would say figure one okay and then this is figure one and this is a figure two so figure two is this is a figure two five hertz so I'm going to do it uh, two okay so what happens here is that these two things these two signals needs to be added These two signals are added. How can we add? We can say this is y2 and y equals equals y1 plus y2. And then that is uh, that can be drawn here. And that is this. This is y1. This is Y2, they are combined, so this kind of shapes came up. Okay? So forget about these two. When you receive this kind of signals, then you may want to see what was the original signals. Therefore, signals are combined therefore we have this ones can you make a reverse engineering so that all oh, these signals by the way is a combination of this and that if you if you have that then uh, it's so convenient right it can be done by FFT only FFT only. Okay? So I have FFT programs. It's a little more than uh, the other. So I'm going to show it to you. It's a little bit of a... This is a program. Okay? I have two signals. This is a signal and this is another signal, right? And then uh, three hertz, three cycles, a little bit of the different. And then after I did this, I have a FFT conversion here FFT. So if I run it, see you. So FFT, okay. Is like that, like this. This is a combined signal. Remember that we combined the signal. This is similar to that, right? And this is FFT. What this FT, FFT means here is that one signal. This is number ten, right? One signal has uh, frequency nine. The other signal maybe frequency three. So frequency 
three frequency, uh, frequency of, I mean, three hertz signal and nine hertz signals are combined. That is this one. That can be identified by FFT. If you look at this, then clearly FF, this is frequency three, and here times three. So three, in this case, frequency uh, three hertz, in this case, nine hertz. It is very clearly detected by these signals. Without knowing individual, if, we, if you have these signals, send it through FFT transformation, then it tells us, oh, one signal in three, uh, three hertz, and the other signal in nine hertz. Amazing, right? It tells us, by the way, two signals are combined, and one signal is a certain frequency, the other signal is another frequency. Very, very handy. Not really well understood what it means. Probably. I used to say similar to that, right? So, uh, a sensible? You, you probably knew a song with this, right? Modulation and capturing the same one. It is very similar to this. In military, did you do like this? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit of, of programming. Yeah, we use, actually use the, the machine. Oh, machine. Machine has a, a, a automatic uh, a conversion, right? It's a machine based. This is a simply software based. So, have you heard of FFT? I have. Oh, great. Yeah. I want you to know the following only. You don't need to remember all of those. those. When I was studying uh, wireless signals, it's very hard to understand, right? And frequency domain and time domain, why we need the two different domains. Although I, I, I have, I know mathematically, I can, I can, computation is okay, but it doesn't feel, I don't feel much. Only I feel now clearly why we need the uh, frequency domain, why we need the uh, time domain, why they are uh, both important is by having these programming. See here, this is a frequency, this time domain. Along the time, your time should go up. Along the time, this signal is, is moving. By looking at this, if I change this time domain to frequency domain, then I know that Oh, that signals is a mixture of the following two. One in three hertz, the other in nine hertz. Decomposition. Why decomposition is important? This is kind of a modulated signal, modulation. After you mix multiple signals, so you have one modulated signals, that signal is sh shipped out. At the receiver side, then you need to decompose, and therefore you have to restore the signals, original signals. This tells you what those original signals are. Okay? There's a technology. All right. Let's move. So that is this. Remember this? By having this in the frequency domain, it picks one. Because if we have only uh, one signal and one one signal is uh, in, in particular frequency. This is another signal in particular distance. If we mix this first and second signals, therefore this kind of uh, signals 
uh, is to be modulated, then because this is a combination, we have two different signals, uh, two different frequencies came up. If you have hundreds of signals modulated together, then you have along the frequency line, you have a hundred different uh, frequencies. So this, this is a kind of we have a lower frequency that therefore it tells me maybe five. High frequency within within one second. So frequency is about what? 70, 60? This is 100, right? Right? There's a frequency domain. So Python execution, we already did that. Okay, this is it for today. Any question? Some of this you may be confused, uh, still not quite understand. But as I said, uh, the major point of this is that uh, modulation is important. Signals, multiple signals can be modulated. And signal and data can be modulated. So anyway, when you send out one wave, is emitted from the source to destination. So at the destination, when signals arrive, then you have to demodulate, demodulate, right? Therefore you need to store the original signals. Why modulation is important? Otherwise, there's no way that you can send this to your data. You throw the data? No, you need to put data on top of some signals. They traverse together. Right, Hamra? When you come to the States from your home country, you are the data. You cannot come here if you do not have a carrier. So you you took uh, what airline? British Airways. So you put yourself on British Airways, right? So if you see the, that, the particular airplanes, then how many people? One, peop one person or hundreds? hundreds? Hundreds. Same thing. One carrier, hundreds different data can be mingled together. We call that modulation. How can you modulate it? We'll do that in the next couple of uh, uh, lecture. We'll do that mathematically, plus some in Python. I know many of you do not like Python, but not necessarily Python, any language, okay? All right, so I'll see you next week, okay? Have a good weekend.